My name is Josiah Morgan, and I'm the Artistic Director for Tai Chi VR. Everything that you see and hear in the game was created by me using free resources and tools. I started by designing the two levels of the game using models from Unity's Asset Store and the Terrain Creation Tool. I added ambient sounds and post-processing effects to make the levels feel more realistic and cinematic. The next challenge was conveying to the user how to replicate a given pose. For this project, I used a template avatar from Make Human Modeling Software and then rigged it in Mixamo. Once I had a rigged character, I recorded myself performing the sequence of poses and used Premiere to cut the progression into bite-sized chunks. I converted each pose into a character animation using DeepMotion, a cloud-based computer vision software service that converts 2D footage into FBX animations. My name is Eric Skoog, and I'm a VR developer for Tai Chi VR. I helped with gameplay elements and engineered solutions to utilize the skeleton rendering abilities of the Microsoft Azure Connect. Using the Connect's body tracking and skeleton rendering, we were able to track and display user movement through VR. We were able to cycle through Tai Chi poses in real time and create engaging animation processes to accompany the user. Our main goal was to create an immersive experience that encourages movement and activity among players. My name is Jimmy Erickson, and I am also a VR developer for Tai Chi VR. I focused on integrating the Azure Connect into our VR project in real time. To the best of our knowledge, the Azure Connect has not been used in a VR game, or at the very least has not been documented. We wanted to explore how immersion could change if the player is no longer forced to hold controllers and instead uses their entire body as a controller. Tai Chi VR uses the Kinect in a similar capacity as its predecessor, the Xbox Kinect. Tai Chi VR is a gesture tracking game that guides players through a series of poses in a visually enjoyable environment. Seeing gesture tracking games come from the 2D space into the 3D space was very enjoyable and seems a fitting transition for the genre. We believe we succeeded in creating an immersive experience for players while also using cutting edge technology to maximize immersion and usability. The Azure Connect utilizes three cameras to track the body, a depth camera, a color camera, and an RGB camera. Using all three of these cameras, plus a lot of back-end software, the Connect produces sets of coordinates for 32 joints on the human body. The Connect is then referenced by a script in the project and passes the coordinates to another script that maps the 32 joints relative to the position of the headset. Remember to inhale slowly and deeply through your nose and exhale slowly and completely. When you're ready to get started, raise your right hand. For this mountaintop scene, we decided to use poses from Avatar The Last Airbender. When a scene is loaded, the poses for that scene are pulled into a data dictionary that houses all of the positions and rotations for each given pose. A pose is then displayed with the blue guide, and the system is constantly measuring and checking the distance between each joint of interest on the player and where that joint should be. On most poses, the joints of interest include the hands, elbows, knees, and feet. Once the distance for each joint is lower than the tolerance level that we set, then the system counts for three seconds and moves to the next pose, giving audio feedback that the player completed that pose. Follow along with the guide as they show you each of the poses. Once you successfully complete a pose, we'll let you know and show you the next one. Remember to inhale slowly and deeply through your nose and exhale slowly and completely. When you're ready to get started, raise your right hand. For this forest scene, we decided to use a Tai Chi warm-up sequence as poses. We designed a system of saving poses that made it quick and efficient to save poses. Our functions capture the vector positions of each bone in the rendered skeleton and save them to a CSV file. We can then reference that CSV file later on to pull poses and compare vector distance to the current player's live skeleton. <laughs> 